All right. Um, so a few hours ago, I watched Dragon Ball Super Superhero. Dumbass title. Just going to say it. Dumbass title. I think it's it's quite possibly the dumbest title. Um, it really is. It is. Oh, my God. It is such a dumb title. Um, and also, not to be confused with Super Dragon Ball Z or Super Dragon Ball Heroes. Yeah. This definitely wasn't... Uh, Surely this title wasn't decided by the, uh, like, uh, the merch, like the advertising t company, because they'd be like, "Mate, the SEO on this is just, this is just the worst. It's, it's a terrible title. I'll, I'll tell you that right now. Terrible title. Um, yeah, it's, it's a god awful title. But uh, <laughs> it is good. I'm still processing it in my head. Um. I'm still not sure whether I prefer this to Broly. Um, Super Broly. I do like that film a lot. Uh, I was definitely unsure about when I was watching the CGI because I was like, uh, but I really like the look of the look of um, Broly. Even though Broly did use some CGI in it and stuff. Like, Broly was a very pretty film, so I was always like, Hmm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sure here. I'm not sure. This is, uh, this seems, uh, this seems a bit, hmm, seems a bit weird. Um, but overall, I think it looks great. There's, like, when it gets to the action, it looks amazing. There's certain parts of it that are maybe a little janky, like a little bit, but not that, like, not crazy, like janky. It's a bit someone like, mm, that looks a bit off. Um particularly in this like right at the start. That's what I was like Yeah, a little janky. Um where what was his name? So I was just trying to remember the character's name. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Carmine? Yeah, Carmine, that's the one. I was like I was trying to think of it. Who 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 played the um the I'm blanking. Um, the red ribbon army bodyguard type dark guy. Um, yeah. So let me let me go over the story. Um, because it's it's interesting. It definitely retcon some stuff, which so I think people will be happy about in some ways. It's like it adds stuff to the story that um definitely Toriyama's been hinting at, but. Yeah, it's uh, it's very interesting. So the Red Ribbon Army were obviously defeated, and now we have the son. Yeah, son, son of um, Colonel Red from the original Dragon Ball, who is is now running his own Red Ribbon or was Red Run Ribbon was running like a Red Ribbon pharmaceutical company, but also on the side was. Uh, supporting Dr. Jiro. Though, if they're using their logo, maybe you also don't want their logo on a lot of these androids that are wrecking a fucking city. Just telling you that right now, the optics on that are not good. If you're like, hey, hey, Jiro, do you want to, do you want to like not use the logo on, on some of your androids while you're also destroying cities? Could you like maybe, maybe not? Just maybe not. You know, you're really like eh, maybe not. But yeah, so it's funding it. Also established that Android Twenty One or the look of Android Twenty One is Doctor Jerome's wife. Android Sixteen is a recreation of Doctor Jerome's son, and Doctor Hedo um, is the grandson of Dr. Shiro, and also the son of, basically, who 16 was recreated of. So it's like, okay. Okay, there's that. Um, so we have that. Why is the sun clashing? Shh. Well, um, 
yeah, we have this new character, Dr. Hedo, and he gets recruited by Magenta. Um, to create androids. Got to create some androids. Got to bring back androids. Um, good thing Vegeta wasn't there. And all trunks. Well, future trunks. Come back going, Hey guys, I'm warning you about more androids. Seriously. There's so many androids. Um, yeah, these are androids. Uh, one of them goes off. I can't remember. I'm, I'm, I don't remember which one's which now. Um, one of them basically goes off to fight Piccolo because he, he's, he's, he's considered a threat to these androids. Um, yeah, he's, he's considered, considered a, th uh, a threat. Yeah, basically, the way Magenta phrases it is Capsule Corp is an evil organization that works with aliens. Um, and is um, yeah, it's interesting because it's it's kind of a, a little bit conspiracy theorist uh, ideas. And you're like, mm. Captain Cobb is run by aliens, guys. Captain Cobb is run by aliens, and they're trying to try to take over the world. Captain Cobb Mura, they're run by aliens. You see, they're run by aliens to try to take over, and 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 the, and Doctor and Mister Satan is in on it all. Um, yeah, which, I mean, yeah, they're in League of Aliens because, yeah, Goku and Vegeta are technically aliens. Uh, so it's Piccolo, really. Uh, uh, who else is an alien? Well, I guess Beerus and Whis are technically aliens. They always hang out, but they, 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 they're they not staying around, at least. Uh, I'll try to think of anyone else on the cast who's like, well, well Dende's an alien. Uh, yeah, okay. They're in a league with a few aliens. Um, and also Broly, I guess. Um, so yeah, fight, fights... Well, one of the, the Gammas, the, the new androids, they... Yeah, they fight... Um, they fight Piccolo. Piccolo goes, wow, that, that guy's strong. Uh, and then basically follows him to find out what the fuck is going on. Um... He infiltrates them, finds out all about their secret plans and how they're going to try and take down all the Z fighters or whatever you'd call them at this point since it's not Dragon Ball Z. But I'm going to call them the Z fighters. Um, so yeah, like, well, Piccolo's dead. Uh, so Piccolo finds out all about his plans, tries to warn people, warns Bulma, um, also gets the Dragon Balls, wishes for his potential to be unlocked. Similar to how Guru did it to uh, Gohan and Krillin. Um, yeah, which apparently Dende can do, but he can't. He can't do it right now. He is not old enough to do the uh, unlock people's potential, so they have to use the dragon to do it. Um, which Piccolo gets a new form. It's called Orange Piccolo. Yep, 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 yep. Orange Piccolo. Uh, so we've got Golden Freezer and we've got Orange Piccolo now. Uh, uh, yeah, so he gets that form. No, he doesn't know about it just yet. Uh, oh, well, they, oh, they also got a Piccolo that goes back back to, to try and hide. And uh, kidnaps Pan. Pan who wrecks shit. Which is great. Pan is just great where she just wrecks a guy. You're like, holy fuck. Pan is like... Yeah, it's like Gohan was at that that that, that yeah that age, and is is just she just uh, wrecks a guy, like yeah she's got that kind of power. She's well, she's probably more powerful than Gohan was at that age, um, because Gohan didn't really know what happened to it. Now Gohan uh, Pan's being basically trained by Piccolo and probably Gohan as well a little bit. Um, so that they, yeah they get captured. They send, yeah. You know, they basically, this this guy and Piccolo, who's in disguise, go to try and kidnap, well, kidnap Gohan. Send send him a message, and Gohan just goes fucking nuts because he's like, "The fuck you done to my daughter?" Um, which is fair, and I love it. So, ah, oh, so cool. It's just so cool to see see um. It's so cool to see Gohan, um. So Gohan basically goes with them, 
because they basically yeah got, got them together so they, they don't harm his daughter uh, i love the bit where he basically they threaten go home with the gun and go go just goes flicks the gun out of his hand he's like what what um <laughs> i fucking love that i honestly do it's great i was just like i am not threatened by you you can fuck right off uh, but that's before he finds out they get kidnapped Pan. Um, so yeah, there's that. I'm trying to think what... Yeah, so they basically go back. Before, we should probably also establish that uh, Goku and Vegeta are like training on uh, Whis Planet. Broly's also there. Uh, along with um, Lemo and Chila. Yeah, that's the one. Um, they're also there. Which, yeah, apparently Beerus likes Chila. Sheila's there just to be Beerus to go, ooh, pretty lady. And that's it. That's uh, that's Sheila's purpose in this film, is to go pretty lady. And uh, yeah, for some reason. This is a bit weird. It's honestly a bit weird. Uh, <laughs> it's like, what? Okay. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And they eat ice cream. And they throw an ice cream pot on top of Whis's uh, staff. So when Bulma tries to call them, uh, they don't pick up. So Goku, Vegeta, and Broly are all, uh, Whis and Beerus are all relegated out of the plot. Which is great. Because one complaint I think a lot of people had with Super is it's the Goku, Vegeta show. Well, cool. We just took out Goku and Vegeta. Brilliant. It's great. I love it. Ah, oh, I love it. The Goku, we've seen enough Goku and Vegeta. They've done enough. Let's let's Goku and Vegeta. Throw them out there. Get them out. Now I'm good. We're good. We don't need any Goku and Vegeta. Um, so yeah, they're relegated out of the plot. Which, again, I love. I love it so much. Just because I have seen them too much in this. And I'm like, yes, finally. It's great. Um... So I'm trying to think. So, yeah, so we go back, go back to Gohan. He's basically uh, sees, sees Pan. Um, Piccolo basically tells Pan to kind of play along for a bit, even though Pan could basically just go and rip off the handcuffs they have on her, which apparently they found handcuffs for a three or four year old. Um, don't question that. Don't question the fact they have handcuffs for a three or four year old. That's apparently a thing. Uh, <laughs> you're like, mm, what? They have handcuffs for a three or four year old? I um. See, so yeah, Gohan basically fights, fights the Gammas. He's kind of, he kind of gets a little bit wrecked. Um, he's also trying to just basically convince the Gammas that he's not like a bad guy. He's like, what the fuck are you talking about? Um, Piccolo does also join in. Um, after pretending to assault Pan, like he's basically just holding her up, going, ha! And then Gohan goes, the fuck you do with Pan? And it goes, yeah, tries tries to basically goad him to being stronger. Um, and Piccolo unleashes his orange Piccolo form. Um, I'm trying to think, yeah, basically they kind of, they kind of defeat the Gammas, pretty much. Um, And yeah, oh yeah, yeah, and Carmine basically tries to shoot Pan. It's like, oh, and the Gamma's like, oh, you, you, you are bad guys, right? Okay, cool. You tried to shoot a child. Yeah, now we're on the good side now. Um, yeah. So then Magenta tries to unleash. Uh, so I haven't established this. Cell Max. Cell Max, who is the so, yeah, Cell is is in this now, uh, kind of. Uh, Cell Max is a giant, giant kind of kaiju raging monster. Very much looks similar to his second form. Uh, uses a lot of yeah, basically a second form, uh, but he is mindless, unfortunately. So we don't get we don't get a lot of cool Cell lines, unfortunately, because. I'm like, well, that's kind of that's kind of part of what Cell is, is 
sell but kind of being a badass and I think that's one of my problems with the film is it's like it's using cell for the, like nostalgia uh, I mean it's, it's the red red brown and all that stuff but it's like it's using cell for like nostalgia and I'm like okay but uh, just don't I'm just like okay I, like I like it but also I don't if that makes sense I'm just like, eh. I don't know. I, I really do like the film. It's just, it's just one of these things where it's like it's using cell, but it's cell who's not cell. So it's like, what's the fucking point? So, yeah. Um, so that, I think that's my main gripe with the films is using cell, kind of using cell for kind of nostalgia, but not using cell. Like as we want Cell to be, you know, we, if we did like a tournament of power, and I'd love it if they were resurrected Cell because it it kind of makes kind of makes more sense to resurrect Cell because Cell basically has a fight boner like Goku. Um, he's not, yeah, you know, he's not about just everyone serving under him. He's evil, but that's just more about him just becoming stronger, not controlling the universe and killing a bunch of people well he kills people he kills people for different reasons um yeah i, w I would like to see cell it's a proper cell back but we didn't get that um but this this cell has it's basically yeah it's a giant kaiju monster who gets unleashed by magenta uh who gets and quickly gets in a fight with uh dr hedo um but yeah that doesn't go so well because Hedo established early on in the film that he had uh, bulletproof skin because he he made that as a thing. Um, so he made bulletproof skin. So yeah, he gets shot, but then he doesn't go down because he got bulletproof skin. Um, and yeah, he he basically kills kills Magenta with his evil wasps. Um. No, no, yeah, yeah, evil wasps. Um, so the team, everyone basically, everyone convenes to basically fight anyone who's on on Earth, but basically convenes to fight uh, Cell Max. Um, yeah, you got you got your eighteen. You got Krillin, who initially Krillin shows um, is there just to kind of help out Bulma, uh, protect Bulma and Pan, which is fair. Uh, yeah, 18, go 10, Trunks, uh, I think that's it, don't know where TN is, don't know where Chiaotzu is, we don't need Yamcha, um, <laughs> poor Yamcha, uh, doesn't, doesn't give, you can get into it, uh, but so, so as a weakness is basically a skull, he can't, he, he might be able to regenerate in like, a uh, classic cell, but not, not to the extent of classic cell, he has that your head his head is a weakness. So there's also one of these things where I'm like, well, if you're not doing cell, one of cell's powers, why are you doing cell? Yeah, it's one of those things where I'm like, are you just doing it for nostalgia, or are you doing it for a legitimate reason? Cell Max is always a bit. Mm. I'm glad I didn't know about Cell Max. Um. I'm very glad I didn't know about that before going into it because I was like, "What was Cell?" Um, and the fight was so cool; <laughs> it really was. Um, oh yeah, Goten and Trunks. I forgot to mention Goten and Trunks are now adult or teenagers. They have had a fucking growth spurt, which is one of my pet peeves of Super. Is these kids have been like, like, much older than they were in Z, and yet somehow haven't grown up. So it's been one of my kind of pet peeves, uh, and I'm glad that's finally fixed. I really am. I I, I like I like that it was fixed. Um, they do the fusion dance, but unfortunately they only fuse into uh, fat go tanks. Um, it's only fat go tanks they as there, which is unfortunate. He does help out to fight. Um, 
and yeah, one, one of the gamers sacrificed himself by basically cracking open, cracking almost, almost cracking up, cracking up Cell's uh, skull a little bit. Not quite. Piccolo goes orange Piccolo. It's great. Uh, they're all fine. Then he also, uh, when when Piccolo is basically he's defending one of the gammas who's on the ground, um, going to get stamped by a giant cell. Uh, cell basically, uh, Krillin reminds Piccolo while he's catching the foot, like, hey, you know, you should do that thing where you go big. Uh, and Piccolo goes, oh, yeah, that is a thing I can do. So, he, yeah, he goes, he's orange and giant. Uh, it's like, it's like, oh, yeah, that is a power I have. Uh, and, yeah, the team basically fight. Uh, fight, um, fight cell. Everyone basically gets fucking wrecked. Uh, as Piccolo basically tells Gohan to charge up. And Piccolo and Gohan are just, okay, cool. And then they try and hold off him. Everyone else tries to help out. Uh, after a bit as Pic Piccolo is getting the shit kicked out of him. And Gohan goes nuts. And according to Wikipedia, the new form is called Gohan Beast, which I don't think was in the film. But yeah, it's Gohan Beast. He's, it's yeah, according to this, it's like an evolution of his ultimate form, which kind of makes sense. It kind of makes sense where, it, you know, the hair looks, the hair kind of looks like Super Saiyan 2. But on go adult Gohan, so it's like okay, okay, and then he gets like kind of gets red eyes. Uh, it's kind of it's kind of more grayish than like a, a Ultra Instinct, it's like gray white. Um, and yeah, basically Piccolo. Uh, it's kind of like a almost a reenactment of the um, uh, Piccolo Piccolo Raditz Goku fight, where Piccolo this time hold tries to hold. Hold Cell Max, and then uh, Gohan hits him with a special beam cannon. Oh, I've wanted to see Gohan do a special beam cannon for ages. I fucking love that Gohan does a special beam cannon. Oh my god, it's so cool. Uh, it's, so, it's so fucking cool that he does a special beam cannon. And yeah, it's not like uh, the... Um, the Raditz fight where Gohan does it through uh, Piccolo and Cell. It's just just through like the head uh, of this Cell Max, so Piccolo is out of the way, uh, so he doesn't die. Um, and yeah, and oh, did I forget to mention that Bulma has two other wishes uh, to make her eyelashes bigger. She uses the Dende upgrades the dragon. He apparently says, "Oh yeah, I upgraded it to like three wishes." Um, he upgrades the dragon to do uh, basically Piccolo's new form. But uh, yeah, but Bulma basically just gets a perkier butt and longer eyelashes. That's the thing. Which is hilarious. She just uses uh, the dragon for cosmetic surgery. Um, but yeah, in, in the end, Gam Gamma 1, who's still alive, uh, Gamma 2 died from doing his like all-out attack to try and crack open uh, Cell Max's skull. Um, and yeah, Dr. Hedo joined Caps Corp. Um, and then ev everyone's fine. Everyone, everyone's good. Um, I mean, there, there is a post credit scene. Um, well, basically, as uh, Vegeta beats Goku. Um, and Bur Burley and Lemo are like, oh my god, this is the best thing ever. And Chila goes, Men, basically. Um, I don't. I don't. They, they kind of do establish a little bit like Chila. Like Beerus likes Chila. It's a bit weird. Never really done anything with her. And you, I, I don't know if they. I, th I feel like maybe people thought that, yeah, Ch Chila may get with Broly, but maybe she gets with Beerus. I don't know. Who the fuck knows? Whis is there. Whis is the best. Um, yeah, and it ends on basically Whis going, Oh, right. You guys called. Right. Sorry about that. Oh, but we're busy. And we put ice cream on the thing. But yeah. Um, 
Oh my god, so good. So, like, Gohan's transformation was kind of like... They definitely did... They tapped into the nostalgia of um, his transformation in Z. Because it does, like, the kind of crack across the screen. And I almost I almost thought they were going to play, like, the classic um, music from his transformation. Which I would have liked. Like, if you go in nostalgia, you might as well go full nostalgia and just, just replay the same music to a you know, new version of it. That would have been fucking cool. I would have liked that. Um, but yeah, it, I didn't expect a kaiju fight in my Dragon Ball. And I didn't hate it. Obviously, there has been kaiju fights, technically, because it's been great apes. Um, but I, I didn't expect that when I got into it. I was like, okay, 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 we're going a superhero route. This is interesting. I almost... The way they framed it always made me thought it was going to be some kind of... It's going to be tournament-like. Like, it always looked... For at least from what I saw in the trailers, it kind of looked like a tournament. I was like, oh, okay, we're doing a tournament. Okay, okay, we won't mean we've done a tournament, but all right. If we're going to do a tournament, we do a tournament. You know, whatever. That's, that's what we're going to do. We're going to do a tournament. Um, and do that. And I was like, oh, okay. This is not doing a tournament. No, doing a tournament. No, doing a tournament. I think it's because the way they put, like, some of the Z fighters on the screen, I was like, oh, okay, this, like, kind of looks like a tournament, but no, it's just Evil Layer. Um... Yeah, honestly, I, I fucking loved the film. I was I was so happy. I was so happy to see Piccolo and Gohan like as main characters. Like a Piccolo. Piccolo is almost the, the main character cuz it mostly focuses on him. Like Gohan isn't in the, a lot of the film. Yeah, he's he's basically at the start and then yeah, for the like second half of the film, but it is mostly a Piccolo film, which if you're a Piccolo fan, it's just it's great. Um, I almost thought that where they were going to go, uh, when they talked about where Gohan uh, mentioned like Grandpa, I oh, know Pan mentioned Grandpa, and then I, I feel like Piccolo almost was like, but I'm Grandpa. Oh, you mean Goku, right? I almost thought, I thought they were going to go a little bit there. I was like, hmm, but yeah, it is great. Let me just pull out. I have some cards in here from the movie, I think. Me and James got some cards. Oh, that's Street Fighter. Uh, that's Tapion. That's Tarble. Icon. Boo, 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 boo. You know, Super Saiyan 3. I feel like we thought we had one from the movie. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because they have the SH on them. Yes, yeah, so I've got I've got Gamma too. Uh, if you like my unboxings, I've done many of those. I don't have Gamma one. I think James has Gamma one. Uh, do you have anyone else? Oh yeah, yeah, I've got Gohan, Gohan, Vegeta, and Piccolo. It's not very right home about. They're kind of just yeah, they're in that kind of style. Actually, let's put out Gohan while I'm here. That's this. Let's go on. Look. Uh, it's SH because that's how they did like the Broly movie was there, so or it's just BR. Um, whereas yeah, these have just SH, so the similar characters just with SH on the end. Um, yeah, honestly, I'd, I fucking love the film so much. It's so good. I was so happy. Honestly, I was really happy with it. I was expecting different stuff, um, but what I got was is really cool. I kind of knew a little bit going in about like Gohan's new form and Orange Piccolo because I saw some stuff and I was like, oh, okay. But I didn't know about Cell. Um, I had a little bit of problems with Cell, but mm, I think that's just... I don't... Yeah, I'm just like, is it a little bit like shameless nostalgia? A little bit. A little bit. Like... Because if you kind of do Cell... Do his do his transformation. Oh, and that's the thing. Go on, go to the trunks. They read it, read it. They literally like a, redid the fusion, like at the end, right at the end of the film, where they're kind of going through like a panning through all the characters, and we didn't get fucking see adult go uh, go tank or teenage go tanks. I want to see teenage go tanks. I know, admittedly, I've got them in there, probably in those cards back there. <laughs> but also, I just want I want to see on screen. Like, come on. Like, I know they, yeah, it's 
it's alright they didn't make this film like the the final battle somehow last like over 30 minutes as it kind of makes sense that they didn't defuse throughout that but also come on I want to see adult go tanks I think probably because they would have been quite OP so they probably didn't yeah, want them to be OP <laughs> basically um, yeah they'd be quite strong so I probably just didn't want them to be that strong but yeah, come on, come on. Uh, that, that's just a minor gripe for me. Um, yeah. Um, and yeah, we didn't get any. I was kind of expecting Great Saiyan Man to show up at some point. Yeah, it's a film that's a superhero title. Maybe we'll get that in the future. We'll get, we'll get Gamma One and uh, the, yeah, the Great Saiyan Man to team up. That would have been cool. And that's just this is me, like fan speculating. I was just, I, I, yeah, if we're gonna go superhero title, let's go Great Saiyan Man. Come on, come on. Nah, that's just me. But uh, yeah. Overall, it's it's just great. It is honestly. It's great to see Gohan and Piccolo as main characters again. Gohan hasn't been a main character in Dragon Ball for fucking ever. Like, honestly, as a proper main character, not since his fight with Boo. And even that he fucked up. <laughs> even that he kind of fucked up. Um... So it's like, oh, it's so good to see Gohan fighting again. I know he was in, he was in the tournament power and he kind of trained, but they didn't... I don't think... They really didn't do much with... with Gohan in the tournament power, from what I remember. I feel like Piccolo got more to do in the tournament power than Gohan. Um, yeah. Overall, it is fun. It's It's... It's a lot of stuff I wanted. Like I said, Gohan and Piccolo, main characters, yes. Goten and Tr Goten and Trunks finally aged up, yes. Goku and Vegeta, nowhere near the fucking plot, yes. <laughs> Actual transformations that have weight, yes. It's not it's not fucking Super Saiyan Blue. Oh, Super Saiyan Blue. Oh. Like when I was watching like. The Broly movie, and they did the transformation. So I was like, "Oh, this is how the transformation should have been done." Super Saiyan Blue was just like, "Ah, oh, it's here now." But okay, okay. Super Saiyan Blue is here. Why? Blue. What? But yeah, blue. What? What? But why is blue? Yeah, but uh, blue. I bet uh, blue. Ah, uh, blue. <laughs> I think that's my favorite problems. A uh, blue. Um. Yeah, I think that's enough. That's enough rambling of me about Dragon Ball. We will probably do it again. Um. Uh, I have some new Dragon Ball Heroes cards as I was bringing up. There's some new Dragon Ball Heroes cards uh, arriving next month. They come out at the end of the month, so I'm expect since it is also Volume Two of the last set we did, uh, me and James did. So there's definitely going to be some superhero cards in there. So I'm looking forward to it. I really hope I get Gohan. I really do. Um, just as, and also I hope I get Beast Mode Gohan. Um, who I will now be calling Beast Mode Gohan. Um, mostly so I can just be like ah to James. Um, ah, <laughs> I will hate it. Um. We'll see if I play players back and go. Oh, James got really good cards. Shit. But yeah, like I said it's enough rambling me. Go. I mean, if I don't know why I'm saying this, like go watch the, this fucking thing is whole spoilers. Yeah, let's go watch the film now. Go watch it. Go, go watch it. If you haven't seen it, what the fuck are you doing here? I mean, if you just come to see my face, okay, fair enough. Um, 
Oh yeah, that's another thing. It's the first time of uh, Johnny Young Bosch in uh, as Broly in the like in the actual movie. No, he'd be in the new voice of Broly because he replaced he replaced uh, the terrible person in uh, Fighters. And uh, yeah, he's 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 good so far. I really like him, and I'm hoping to see more of him. I honestly didn't notice much difference, which is good, especially since I watched the Broly movie yesterday, just to be like. Yeah, just to catch up, I get and just refresh that in my head. Like, honestly, really good. I think everyone in this film was good. I didn't really, it wasn't really a stinker. Um. Oh yeah, it also as Charles Manette as a uh, as uh, as Magenta, which I was like, I didn't know which character he played, but in my head I was just like, and I didn't have my phone off on because I'm in the cinema. I turned that shit off. Um, I didn't check it there, but I knew it was in the film. I was like, yeah, no, it's, it's the slightly Italian-y character. Yeah, no, that's that's what it is. Um, yeah, I don't recognize some of the some of the actors, especially some they don't even have an IMDb page, which is crazy. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's enough about me rambling. I shall I shall sign off now. Because I keep saying I'll sign off and I don't. So I'm signing off now. Bye!